Well, let's see. We can do the viewer update. Uh, anybody who comes to the other two meetings I run has already heard all this stuff, but I guess there's not a ton of overlap with the content creators crew. Uh, anyway, um, our big push right now is trying to get the uh, mate JK viewer out. Um, and the hold on that has been that we're trying to get a fix in for the updater on Mac. Um, our updater depends on Python 2. Apple is pulling the plug on Python 2 support in their, I'm not sure if it's out yet, either current or upcoming next OS release. Um, so we can no longer count on that being present. And instead, uh, we've been updating the, the updater to use Python 3 and to have everything already sort of built into the updater executable so we're not counting on it being present on the, the Mac. So uh, if, if that has all been fixed as we think, then uh, we should be we should have a viewer ready um, shortly that has all of those fixes in it. And uh, if so, then that'll be going to RC soon. Uh, not sure if that QA is finished on that or not. Uh, Dan, do you know where we are with uh, with the mate JK? Yep. It's oh. we it, may, it hopefully it will go out today. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, heard it here first. Uh, hopefully we will be able to get it out today, and then if that all goes well in testing, and we already do have quite a few test hours against this viewer. Um, hopefully we can get it to. Um, get it promoted uh, next week. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Next viewer after that is likely to be performance improvements. Uh, a lot of nice work on getting the frame rate to be both higher and smoother. Um, and we are trying to get that out as an RC uh, so that we can start getting more feedback. Um, we've, we've done some internal testing and we've We've uncovered some issues, but I know we're going to get more when the uh, you know larger crew gets a chance to try it out. And beyond that, uh, I don't remember offhand. We got a bunch of other a bunch of other viewers that are farther from release. Um, somewhere in there, we're still trying to get the legacy profiles out, um, and uh, we've got a. a viewer that has the new performance floater and we're also adding some controls to let you kind of dynamically adjust the the settings to keep your frame rate steady to that one um so those are those are coming somewhere farther down the line let's see anybody else have uh updates Ryder? do you want to say anything about what's going on on the server side uh, let's see. Next next week should be quiet on the server front. We are uh, going to be doing any roles next week. So. And that's that's it. Okay. Thanks. Uh oh, MFA. Yeah, sorry, Brad. I forgot that one. Um, yeah, that's one we mentioned at previous meetings here. Um, the the, the viewer work to support uh, multi-factor auth has been done for a while, but we've been just blocked waiting on getting the uh, getting the server side deployed. And uh, so, Brad, is it is it the case that all of the services we need are out on Agni now? Yeah, as yeah, well that's right. Yesterday? Yeah, yesterday morning the deploy went smoothly, and I actually used it in this uh, in the viewer login just now. So yeah. Pretty good. And that is currently not out in a form that other people can try it yet? Yeah, no, this is an internal project viewer right now. Um, okay. Hopefully it'll go through QA soon so we can get an RC out sometime shortly. So is the plan that the next build that we test is going to be uh, an RC? Yes, candidate? yes. Okay. Yeah, looking forward to that one. Uh, it's been in the works for quite a while and just... Uh, I'm mostly waiting on the deploy part process to work its way through the various grids.
So, uh, Brad, if I'm understanding correctly, we initially will support MFA, but then it's a question yeah. of when we actually start mandating, uh, not mandating that people use MFA, but mandating that if you've opted into MFA, you have to use an MFA-enabled viewer, right? Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, so, so this is um, intended as a grace period um, while... while to give people time to implement implement the uh, MFA capabilities in their viewers, um, so so yeah. For now, the MFA preferences requirements are only enforced on viewers that are MFA capable. Um, so even if your account has MFA turned on, you can just use a, a, a legacy viewer to log in for now, uh, and then once. Things have settled down, and everybody's had a chance to to release viewers that that are MFA capable. Then, uh, then we can flip the switch and and enforce it across the board. Okay. So yeah. as usual, uh, you know, we'd consider the changes to be fair game once it's out on RC, which should be hopefully soon. But we'll uh, keep everybody posted. Uh, Mojo, any company announcements or uh, things you wanted to mention this meeting? Well, we do have a merch store now. Maybe catnip chocolate should be in there. Apparently, someone was calling out if I had any uh, new things to discuss in the meeting. Um, apologies, I was in two meetings at once. Uh, the no, I um, I don't have anything new. I, I, I did want to say that I think there uh, we're definitely launching a lot of new initiatives. I'm hoping that as we um, get more into it, we can kind of share more with the community, get more feedback. I know that uh, Veer has discussed a few of them with the community, but you know, um, I just want to say that I'm really excited about kind of the direction we're taking and, and um, look to get more feedback from individuals and the community as a whole. So um, kind of the same thing I've been saying at most of these meetings, but uh, as time progresses, I think more and more of the roadmap will get shared and, and we'll get more and more involvement from third parties because we need your help, honestly. Uh, as we do these things, because it's only in our viewer, then uh, it's it's siloed, and so we need to kind of make sure that these features kind of get integrated into the third party viewers. Secret projects are secret. Uh, well, I, I don't want to. I, I think the reason why I'm being coy is that um, 
I want the ability to kill projects that we talk about. If we get the community excited about something and then we kill it, it's like, oh, well, that was stupid. So I want to make sure everything's a sure thing. It's all funded. It's all uh, moving forward. But um, I mean, some of the stuff I think we've, we've openly talked about materials and, and we talked about a, a few other things that we're, we're interested in doing. And, um, certainly talked a lot about performance. Um, so there's, there's definitely some things we've already talked about. Just there's other things, there's other initiatives coming down. Yeah, I think there's a lot of things that we're, uh, you know, people already know we're interested in. We've talked about at the, at the content creators meeting or at this one. Um, but often there's open questions about uh, just you know priority and ordering too. So you know even for stuff that we think we're going to get to at some point, we don't necessarily know yet. Uh, you know exactly where it fits on the roadmap. All right. Well, I guess that kind of covers the official announcements portion of the meeting we can throw it open for general questions and discussions now Uh, okay, question about offline friendship offers and group invites. There, oh. yeah, there, uh, I answered in chat there, but there okay. is a project gearing up on the simulator side to finally get that fixed once and for all. Uh, I am not sure what the schedule on it is going to look like yet, but, uh, but but there is help coming. Yeah, I believe there's actually resources assigned. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's, uh, um, yeah, uh, uh, and and we're all already starting starting to look at actual stuff to to do. So so that is that is coming. That is that is coming for a near value of soon.
Havoc pack. I saw a question about that. Uh, I'm not sure what that's about. I, we're not aware of a Havoc change that should be causing problems, so I don't know if it was... If it could just be, a, you know, a stray build flag or something like that. Um, we do have the, the mesh optimizer changes pulled into the performance improvements viewer, so um, that will be kind of hitting the net pretty... Uh, pretty soon. Uh, yeah, more details would be good. I'd, I'd pass the original question along and uh, people didn't know of a reason that that should be happening so that's that's as far as we've gotten with it so far All right, getting quiet. Anything else we should cover this week, or I want to give people time back to run off and do other things. Going once, twice. Sold to the long weekend crew. Yep, have a good one. And thanks for coming. Stay safe, everyone.